Hi everyone, hope you're well. This is my reading for the energies in September and October. So I seem to be doing these videos um, about every two months for a two month forecast and then an update sometime in the middle, just whenever I get messages or insights coming through that I feel like I should share with you. And sometimes I'll do a moon video as well for a new moon or a full moon. Anyway, it's not really until now, I know we're nearly a week into September, but really until now I've started to get new messages through um, that I wanted to share with you for what's coming up. Because my main theme of July and August was um, to not be afraid and know that a lot of the talk that we hear in the media and everywhere really of the issues of the day um, is just theatre and fear mongering. And we don't need to and should not give it our power or energy. So what I'm going to say today builds on that. Okay, the theme of September and October is light. There is some stormy psychic weather ahead, but we can navigate it and not be overcome by it and come out the other side. So I know at times um, it's different where you are in the world, but generally at times these days things can look bleak and hopeless. I know I have moments of feeling fearful and trapped and stuck. And as I always say, don't deny those feelings, let them come, notice them, name them, let them pass through you, breathe through it, don't let them get stuck and just move through them to the other side. Because there is another side, obviously it's getting closer and we will get to that. Okay, so um, it's not in the picture here, but I have pulled for myself the Hermit card a lot recently. And the messages coming through with the Hermit card is, yes, there is darkness around. It's been there. It will still be there to some extent. But there is also light. There is always both, even in normal times. Okay. Be the light for others if you can. You are needed. Otherwise, look at the light, look for the light. Let light into your thoughts and into your words, not the darkness. Choose your words really carefully. Words are so powerful. So use positive, powerful vocabulary. Um, instead of saying things like, this will end, change it into present tense. This is the ending, that kind of thing. Um, even our you know, standard, I am safe and all is well. Good one to come back to. Um, the other aspect of light, not just as in light and dark, like light around us, also lightness of mood, okay? I had an image come to me of people um, with more and more burdens put on them, um, feeling weighed down, you know, weighed down, worried, tired, scared, fearful, eyes downcast, a big group of people just in this negative feeling. And then they all looked up at each other and just had this collective moment of realizing the absurdity of it all and just looked at each other and started laughing, like really just a happy laughter, sort of disbelief, but happy. It was hilarious, that kind of endorphin releasing, tension releasing, big laugh. And then immediately that fear and heaviness they'd all been feeling went away because of the laughter and the connection and the high vibration energy that broke that spell. That is the spell, okay? And it's the positivity that breaks it. And the more there are together doing this breaking of the spell together, the stronger it can be. I just had another thought. You know that movie Labyrinth, that 80s movie um, with Jennifer Connolly, I think, and David Bowie. What broke the spell at the end of that movie was when Sarah realized and said out loud to Jareth, you have now no power over me. You have no power over me. And that couldn't be disputed or argued with. And she was free. She had to realize it, say the words out loud and believe it. And then it just became real and everything dissolved so quickly. So hold on to that message. Um, what else? Let me see. Um, I'm going to move on to the crystals. So you can see in my picture here, I pulled three. 
And the top two to me are just representing the light. I've got a little Himalayan crystal point that I bought in Nepal. It's tiny but powerful and the, the quartz is so clear. Then the citrine represents the light. Um, also getting there just eat citrus, lemons, citrus soap, orange and lemon, lemon sort of essential oil smells is really good now. Even real lemon, like I cut a lemon in half, squeeze it for lemon juice and keep the remaining part of the lemon just in a cup with some salt in it in my room and the charge from that keeps away negativity and just makes a nice smell you can also just keep a whole lemon in my room at work i just have one in the corner just the bright yellow looks nice but lemons are powerful um, lots of cultures use them. I was catching a bus a few weeks ago and there's some Spanish people on the bus and I noticed one lady at the start um, took out a lemon, cut the tip off and just put it in the little pocket in the back of the seat in front of her. Um, not sure if she did it for spiritual reasons, but it was really interesting. Anyway, um, main crystal I want to talk about that had the strongest message is the yellow tiger's eye that you can see at the bottom. Okay, so what's the tiger's eye saying? It is Virgo new moon on the 6th and 7th of September, so do bear that in mind. I think it's 1.15 a.m. in the UK. Um, it'll be earlier than that in the States, later than that in Australia. But be aware of when it is and just remember new moons, release and a fresh start, okay? It's in Virgo and this earthy yellow colour of the tiger's eye is a nod to that. So it's saying keep your feet on the ground, don't get caught up in words, wars of words, drama, swirling energies, don't give your energies um, to other people or situations if they don't leave you feeling energised as well, okay? That's an important message coming through. People and places and situations can make you feel deflated or energized. So learn to recognize this feeling within yourself. It can be surprising, like people you're close to and friends with can actually be quite um, draining, all right? Um, I have found in my experience, sometimes people like your energy rather than liking you, and they like to be around you because it makes them feel good and energized and then if they're away from you, that feeling drops. Um, and if you feel the same as that and get the same feeling from them, great. That's a good relationship, strong, true, good friendship or relationship. Um, it's mutually beneficial. But if you don't and you feel deflated, then that's some relationship or situation that's draining you. So just be aware of that. Um, Tiger's Eye is saying, hold on, hold strong hold fast, dig in your heels, be like the mighty oak with deep roots, deep convictions and strong inner knowing. Don't waver and all the baseless, rootless, messy whirlwind of noise and whiz around you will move on, okay? It will not uproot you, it will not make you lose your balance and it will pass you by. Just be tall like the oak tree and look down on all the the noise and the stuff around you. Don't get drawn into it. Don't look down on it in a patronizing way, more just in a way that it's insignificant to you, okay? Um, pointing out too, I have two tiger's eyes. I have a red one as well, but I've pulled out this yellow one. Um, so the energy's really been up till now about red and the sacral chakra. Um, which gives us a feeling of safety and security, which I know a lot of us have been lacking um, in these times. Um, and I know I've done a lot of work on sacral chakra recently, just things like listening to, there's a really good guy on YouTube called Temple Sounds who does singing bowls and gongs. And one of his gong videos was to kind of tune up the sacral chakra. So I've been listening to that. Sitting meditation, so you've got that um, 
sacral chakra on the earth and just imagining red mist around the lower body around that sacral chakra area now september october we're being asked to move up to the solar plexus chakra yellow which is around the diaphragm just under the rib cage and that's your power center your personal power center so do things from your center move from your center which is an idea from martial arts speak from your center your core with strength feel from your center breathe from your center know you are powerful your thoughts have real power your words manifest so like i said before be proactive in your language and positive and your actions have a ripple effect and can guide lead and support others as i said be the light look for the light help others to see it even as I'm holding it now, I'm holding this stone, it's getting hot. Um, so, you know, it, it's, it's a powerful message. Um, it's saying as more people realize their strength and connect to it, the more this feeling will spread. I'm just getting an image of the witch in the Wizard of Oz movie, how she goes, I'm melting, I'm melting. I know she wasn't made of ice and that wasn't the reason she was melting. But that idea of the warmth of light and the sun and positivity just dissolving and laughter dissolving the darkness dissolving the negativity um is what i'm talking about okay so um let's move on to the card so only one card came out which um i'll tell you how it came out it's quite unusual for me i mean at least i normally have three sometimes five or six in a reading but this is just a one card message so it's a powerful one i shuffling and there's a real delay delay in the cards coming out so there may be some delays september october um nothing we can't deal with as i was doing it i got this nervous feeling and it was telling me someone might be someone you know but i'm getting the feeling it's more kind of leaders of the world someone um, is feeling very nervous can't hide what they've done um, it's hit them that they can't hide this anymore don't know why it's taken so long um, but that the evidence against them is, is too strong and the light is shining so bright that it can't be hidden anymore um, and that wasn't really how I expected this reading to go but um, it's saying expect the unexpected okay um, I got a sense too of acceleration lots of images coming through today but i'm seeing frogs jumping okay and that's telling me big leaps things that before would have been done in maybe three or four separate steps are now being done in one big leap so there's a sense of acceleration over the next two months and then i looked out the window and just saw insects whizzing around all over the place which again said to me quick movement and a real sense of anticipation then after I looked out the window and looked back at the cards, so shuffling away, still nothing coming out. One was turned facing up and that never happens with me. I shuffle with them all facing down. And it was this card, the 10 of cups. I've no idea how that happened. It's a pretty strong message. One card reading. What's the message from this card? And this is a good card. So it is saying reunification. Look at this happy family together, celebration light look at the rainbow look at that golden glow from the 10 golden cups 10 is the end of each suit in the tarot so we've got cups wands swords pentacles it's the end of a journey it's the end of something and it's a happy ending cups also links to the water element which is emotions intuition home family love fulfillment satisfaction and the card said to me this is where we are going so everyone this image is our light hold on to this over the next two months if you're feeling down look at this picture okay um step into it okay it's a scene step into it be one of the adults fling your arms out and just look out at that beautiful scene be one of the children dance and play and laugh and just allow yourself to feel happy and joyous and be grateful for this ending to a journey with all its ups and downs and lessons and emotional growth um we don't look back on the pain we just be happy in this moment okay um 
There's no place in this scene for fear or worry. The light just blocks it out and dissolves it. And when we get to this point, we don't look back on the pain. We just celebrate the, the warmth and the freedom, the relief, the sense of release and joy. And as we can see in this picture, it's a feeling to be shared. So during stormy days that will pop up, hold on to this and know that you are never alone. We're sharing this experience and we move through it and out the other side together. Okay, I'm here for you, you're here for me, and we're here for each other. So hold this image in your mind over September, October. Remember the strong message about your strength and positivity from the yellow tiger's eye. And I'm going to finish with this quote from the musical Into the Woods, which I was listening to a song from, which felt like an appropriate message for um, where we are right now. Hard to see the light now, just don't let it go. Things will turn out right now, we can make it so. Someone is on your side, no one is alone. So everyone, thank you for listening. I hope it's helped. I'll update you with anything else that comes up and comes through over the next weeks. Stay well, keep going everyone. Thanks again.